If you like to laugh, it's a good book. If you like to cry, it's a good book. If you like to get in touch with your feelings, it's a good book. If you like to understand what vision's about, it's a good book. If you want to talk about your purpose in life, it's a good book. If you like feelings and hugging and all that kind of stuff, it's a good book. If you like none of those human things, you shouldn't read the book. I don't know anybody that doesn't celebrate authenticity. Everybody loves authenticity. You see somebody that's authentic, you like them. But yet, we have all these filters in society today. They're called email, text, Instagram, LinkedIn. And so the authenticity gets filtered through all of these things. And at the end, I don't know what's real or false, but I don't think technology should be instead of people, it should be on behalf of people. So I, I, I said, I got to do something about this. I got to write um, about people being themselves. And I got to get them to be themselves more and tell them it's okay uh, to be yourself. Um, and so um, I wrote the book, The Power of Being Yourself. For that reason, I think it's cool to be yourself. I think people love stories. And I think they learn from stories. I think stories have themes and have messages and people are engrossed in stories. As you know from reading the book, my, my son uh, died uh, from having used drugs all his life. He didn't die of an overdose, he died because of an enlarged heart that came about because of the overdose. And I tell the story of my relationship with him. And I do it in, in, in as candid and as transparent a way as possible. And it's a story that starts at age 13, when he was anorexic, which came from self-esteem problem, which I think was totally due, in my opinion, to a, a lack of having a father. And that was my fault. And I could never recover the relationship that I should have had with him when he was younger. And so I tell the gory details of that story uh, for the simple reason that I don't want somebody else to have the same problem I had. I don't want them to lose a son or a daughter. I don't want a mother or a father to feel the same way I do. Um, the pain of regret is the worst thing in the world. Uh, it lasts long and it never goes away. If you're going to be yourself, which I tout obviously in the book, then I had to be myself in a candid way in my relationship about my son. And I, I hope people learn from it. I've been a CEO of five companies. I'm not weak. Um, I'm a pretty strong guy. That doesn't mean I can't cry. It doesn't mean I can't be emotional. People get confused uh, over those things. And I think that, that we got to get rid of that confusion and we got to get people to start um, saying to themselves and the license to be what they are. So I want to I give them, by virtue of reading the book, the license to feel when they close the book, I can be me, it's okay. I didn't do this to write a book. I'm not a writer. I did it to start a movement where people will start talking about this and being who they are. There's 200 pages of, of laughing and crying and feeling good about who you are, uh, which is a good thing to feel today.